Hello my soccer universe. It is time for the Premier League jersey review. Yes, I decided to do that one uh, next. And yes, uh, we have of course 20 Premier League teams in there and decided to split it up into four videos of five teams each. So before we go into it, I just want to give you an idea of how I came up with the teams in each for each video. First off, I took all the pictures. I went on footy headlines uh, and screenshotted the jersey pictures from there. And then I also, um, if I couldn't find a good gold school picture, I did a Google search and, you know, sometimes it's store pictures or whatever. That's how I compiled the pictures that you will see in this video. I always try to find one where there's only the jersey that's not on a mannequin or a play or whatever, but sometimes it doesn't work this way. Now, this is how I got the pictures. For the teams, I decided to take last season's final standings and then I'll go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on, as you see up there. And then I choose for the corresponding video uh, the teams and sort them alphabetically. And so in the third installment, we have Chelsea, we have United, we have Newcastle, we have Aston Villa, and we have newly promoted Bournemouth wearing Villa for this one. And that's actually where we start. And at the second part, we left off with a Castor shirt. Honestly, this is the first Castor shirt that I actually somewhat dislike. Classic Villa look, unlike this one, uh, although it's kind of classic. Uh, but I have to say here, they actually do a nice um, job. I really like the um, lighter sleeves here. Uh, maybe the collar could have used, you know, a little bit more like this. That's maybe the only thing. But other than that, I have to have to say I really like this one. Even the chevrons uh, pattern in, in there is a nice one. Uh, I think classic Villa shirt. Cannot go wrong with that one, so I'm willing to go with eight stars here. The um, away jersey, I do like the inversion of the colors. I really like that a whole lot, uh, and it also makes a whole lot of sense. I think I saw this once, and I, I thought this is actually quite smart. Um, I just think it's maybe went a little bit too far. Maybe. So it went uh, from what could be an interesting jersey to almost a kind of slightly boring part. But I think overall it is smart. Um, da, da, da. Let's let's give it a six because it's really, I mean, uh, despite the smart, smart as the boringness uh, wins out here. And then the third jersey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming completely different. I overall do like the color combination. That has to be said. Um, I don't understand this uh, yellow side uh, stripe here uh, in a way, uh, but I do like the pattern that is in there. Um, I also think that the crest, it does not look out of uh, order. However, this would have looked better as a Wolves uh, away or third jersey. Uh, so in that sense, it's also not quite perfect, but I think I like it enough uh, to give it a seven, but it would not necessarily um, be like my go-to Villa jersey in any way. I actually really like, like the when they do the black with the two clubs colors, that actually looks a whole lot better. Bournemouth, is this our first Umbro jersey in the review? It might actually be, well, I should love red and black. I am not sold on this one. I actually think um, it looks too thorny to me. Uh, if you would just go with the um, uh, darker pattern and then with the red, I actually think you might be onto something that I could uh, go with. But then, yeah, then they add you reverse it and you have these uh, grayish thorns in there as well. Not so sure. Not so sure. Uh, so yeah, I'm... <laughs> nah. I like the colors, but I don't like the rest. Uh, for me, this is a three star. Um, the uh, weight jersey, yeah, um, it's almost the exact opposite. From the very thorny and stark home jersey, you have this kind of flowy, tropical uh, jersey. Very nice to look at, but does it have to do anything with Bournemouth? 
Exactly. Again, this is more like it's pandering to a certain audience who likes um, out uh, out of the ordinary shorts. It's maybe a little bit too flowery. It's again, I've, I have a definite 60s feel with most of the Premier League shirts this season. Um, so yeah, uh, nice idea. I think it's a pleasing shirt, so that's why I won't go very uh, low. Uh, but you know, something's missing. So I'm I'm thinking six here. Um, and then, really nice. The third jersey, just black with a little bit of white, a little bit, a little bit of gold. Yes, we are definitely out of, out of the black and gold era of soccer jerseys. I think we should see the end of it. Uh, but this one, I have to say, I do like it. Looks strong. I wish that the D was in black, uh, in red. That I think would add something else, or you know, have a, a little bit spark of red there. But a uh, very, very strong look. God, like I say it makes all the whole lot of sense. This is an eight star to me. Chelsea, I have heard a lot of hate about this one, but I have to say, this jersey is, you know, it's one of those sleepers. Unlike Liverpool, that we saw last time, where it's all plain, it uses the same template, but adding this color gives this jersey character. I also do not dislike the sponsor, honestly. Yes, it's not perfect, but I don't dislike it. Um, and I have to say the adding this light blue turquoise shade on the collar gives it also a little bit more pep. I think this is a much better uh, jersey than most fans want to give it credit cre for. I, and when you see the pattern, uh, once you know that this is inspired by the lion in the crest, I think this takes it honestly to the next next. Instead of, I, I, it's not perfect. But for a, this is a simple Chelsea jersey that still adds a little, little bit of pep there. For that reason, uh, I'm gonna go seven here. Yes, could have been. Uh, I know that that is improving, but I think this is a much better, better jersey than most people give it credit for. I also really like the away jersey. Um, um, yes, they lost in Zag uh, Zagreb wearing this one, and when I look at it here, maybe the black looks a little bit out of place. But I gotta say. It's again the same pattern from this lion in the crest. I actually think the crest should have been recolored in turquoise here uh, instead of the black. I think this would look better. But this was one where I look, I look at it and say, it actually looks quite good. Looks quite quiet, pleasing. Uh, does everything in a weight jersey should do. Um, honestly, eight stars for me. However, uh, you lose me on the third jersey because where is that coming from? Yeah, gold, but have you won anything lately? And it also, this is the first time we really see this horrible, absolutely horrible Nike template with this beep under the collar uh, that just irks the heck out of, out of, out of me. Uh, but here, at least you don't see it because it's all in the same color. Uh, still, the colors and so on it don't do it for me at all. Um, so for me, it's not more than a three star, honestly. So yeah, but overall Chelsea look looking good. United had a wonderful set last time around, however, no one wants to remember it. Uh, this time I have to say maybe the home jersey uh, is on par with last season's. So the color I really like, I even like the pattern there. It has a 90s feel to, to it. Um, I still cannot get on board with the sponsor. I miss the days that United had a nice sponsor. I think if it's just Team Viewer or just the logo, but the whole thing, it looks a little bit too heavy going to the side of this logo. And honestly, what bugs me is the treatment of the crest. Why the shield? It doesn't need to be there. This is just, this is superfluous to me. So, um, positive color. Classic look, uh, the sponsor could look nicer. The crest is the one thing that uh, does it. I actually like the black outline around the Adidas logo. Gotta say that too. But I think overall it's a really decent shirt um, that when you see it in match, it looks quite, quite nice. Also gonna go the Chelsea route here uh, with seven. The away jersey, I think is a modern take on a classic away jersey. I really like that the alternating colors here, the red and the black. Again, the shield is the one thing that bugs me, although it looks much better here. Um, and I feel it could have used a, just a smidgen more red. I think the Adidas logo in red or the team view in red would have uh, made this a better looking jersey. But that one I really, really enjoy. Um, it's an eight star to me. 
Uh, the third jersey, again, uh, like Chelsea, falls off. I don't know what the color tries to do here. And maybe this is the same one that they had for Fulham. Uh, but the color combination is just awful. As awful as there was their performance at Brentford. And so, yeah, this to me is a two. Uh, it's it's not a good one. Uh, both Manchester clubs having very, very bad third jerseys, I gotta say. Um, Newcastle, Castor. Again, might say the striping, great, looks super. My, and I think even the Fun 88, the blue kind of fits with the crest. I mean, what really bugs me is that the numbers on the back are red. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, either go with the blue or go with the red, but don't do both. Also, get friggin' rid of the Chinese or get rid of the fun A88. Have, 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 have it only in Chinese. But having this uh, unblock in a way, you know, it is not symmetric in any, in any way. So this is uh, these, these are the things that really take this jersey out. So I think overall, it's a really nice black and white look that I do, of course, enjoy. Um, but there are just too many things that uh, bug me around it uh, in the overall look, especially when I see it in match uh, that don't quite do it for me. Uh, don't want to be, I think I again go with a 7 for the home. The sponsor needs work. Uh, if that sponsor is nice, I actually think you, we are looking here at a 9 uh, star, star jersey at the very least. Um, for the away jersey, they go the blue goldenish route, which looks pleasing. A little bit wondering what it has to do with Newcastle. Again, sponsor has a problem, but um, here I have to have to say this is actually overall a, a really decent job by Castor. Um, I like this better than the home jersey, uh, which for a black and white jersey is that's a big statement coming from me. And yeah, we have the Saudi Arabia third kit. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we have nothing to do with Saudi Arabia, and then yeah, we basically are looking like like the Saudis. The colors have nothing, absolutely nothing to do. Make this, make the green black, and we're talking. Otherwise, nah, not my, not my kind of thing. Uh, it's more kind of boringish, and I'm gonna go five with that. And that ends actually already the video. I'm a little bit surprised myself about this one. So yeah, I think it was an interesting set, but nothing really, really super outstanding in there. I want to know which jerseys did you like in there. I also will uh, publish a poll on which uh, teams in this video you think had the best set. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.